everybody. Today we are going to take a look at how to set up a library thing account and quickly add books to your collection. To start off, we're going to go up here to the address bar and type in librarything.com. And when the screen pulls up, we'll come right over here and click on join now. So when it pulls up, you're going to put in your username, whatever name you want to use to display right here. And then you're going to come down here and put in your password. The last thing that is only recommended, not required, is that you put in an email address. They recommend it to make it easier for them to identify and contact you in case you email them any questions regarding your account, as well as making password retrieval easier. You will also get a state of the thing email once a month, although show you right here when you get your email you can scroll down to the bottom and easily unsubscribe at any time okay we'll click back over here and the last thing you need to decide is whether you're creating a personal or an organizational account so if it's just for you it's personal but any classroom is going to qualify as an organizational account so make the choice that's right for what you are setting up I am already a member uh, so I'm not going to click join now. I'm going to click already a member and I'm going to sign in. And when you get to the home page, you're going to see that you have a lot to process. There is just a lot of stuff to see. There's a lot of words here. And um, so first thing we'll take just a brief glance at is that right over here, you are going to see that this is where you're going to fill out your profile information, add a member photo, if you're wanting to engage in the social aspect of library thing. And you can change your privacy settings there too, if you like. But we are going to go ahead to the fun part, adding books. And for that, we're switching over to the app available for iPhone and Android. This free app has a built-in barcode scanner. So when you open it, you're going to go to your account and you're going to log in with the account that you've created. And then when you do so, you are going to be signed up for a free lifetime membership. Then you're going to hit add to catalog and you're going to tap the little scanner icon to the right of the search bar at the top. And there you can see your books and you're going to flip over and find your barcode and scan. And it is just that easy. That book has been added. Well, I say it's that easy. It's that easy most of the time. You might run into some situations like this. We're going to look at the monster at the end of this book. And we're going to scan this barcode and, oh, it says it's Kermit Save the Swamp, which is not the same as the monster at the end of this book. So we're going to set that aside and up here at the top, we're going to swipe left and hit delete so that we have, have not added a book that we don't want. Then we're going to go back over here and we're going to hit our little scan button again. And we are going to try this Winnie the Pooh book, Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. So we come down here and scan and it says no books are found for this ISBN. Sometimes those barcodes are not actually equated with an ISBN. And so we want to look for this book a manual way, rather a more old fashioned digital way, if you will. So we can come right back over here and click for search for books to add. But we're going to head back to our computer to do this today and click on the Add Books tab at the top. So whatever you know about a book, you can put in right in this search bar up here, whether it's the title or whatever. And um, down here, you can see that there's different places you can choose. But title is probably the easiest. And we'll leave it down where it was set for Amazon.com All Media down below. And here we're going to type in the one that we just tried to do a minute ago. We're going to type in monster at the end of this book and hit search or enter. And now we've got some results over here. And the issue that we have is that like this down here at the bottom, these other ones, we don't have a toy. It's not a sequel. This looks like the right book. However, it might be a different edition. And so to make doubly sure, we're going to use the most reliable method, which is searching by ISBN. So back to our search box, we are going to type in the ISBN, which you can find on the back of the title page in a book. 
So we'll type that ISBN in there. And when we click on it, we are going to see that we got exactly one result. And that is the one that we want to add to our library. Now, if I just wanted to take a closer look at this, rather than actually add it to my library at this point, then what I should do is not here in the Add Books column. I should go instead up here to the Search Site to just take a closer look. But we're in the Add Books. I do want to add this book, so I'm going to click on it right here. And as I do, it will add it to my collection. And uh-oh, I got a warning. There's a duplicate in my catalog. So I have to make a decision. Do I want to delete this book? Or do I want to keep it? Do I have a second copy? And here on my original, it shows me as well. There is a duplicate. So I know that I only have one copy. So I'll click Delete Book and then OK. And now it's gone. And that warning has gone off of my original one as well. It's back to normal. So of course, if you have two copies, you can leave it there. And that's it. This is how easy it is to add books to your LibraryThing account. Be sure to catch my next screencast on how to use TinyCat to track lending in library account. And I'll see you around on LibraryThing.